All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles of Green Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, yeah, just real quick, I don't want to do this quick video. All right, and um, I got a couple of precepts here. All right, to go with it, you know. Um, daily, you know, you you this this whole thing about the uh, the name. All right, the name of the Lord, which. You know the name, the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are very, very, very important, man. Okay, but it seems as though in today's day and age, as the scriptures say, all right, people don't understand, all right, the importance of the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and you know, as as and that's ultimately that's why the Lord did what He did in Egypt, all right, to magnify and glorify His name, all right. So now let me get this, because you know you have people now saying that. Basically, Yahweh Shai's name, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, you if you, it's not about whether you're calling on his name or not, but rather, uh, uh, uh if you're following his commandments, right? So how 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 are you gonna follow somebody's commandments whose name you're not sure of or you don't know? You know. Now this is John. All right, this is the book of John, and I'm gonna go to the 14th verse. It's not gonna be a long video. I just got it like a like two or three precepts. All right. Um, this is John chapter 14 Verse 13 it says And this is Yahweh Shai speaking Alright um, I'll start at 12 it says Verily verily I say unto you He that believeth on me The works that I, I do Shall he do and greater works Than these shall he do Because I go unto my father And whatsoever ye shall ask In my name that will I do You hear that the Lord said, whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, all right, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son, all right? So now, you know, you, you mean to tell me that the Lord gave his, his true name, all right, to these, these wicked-ass people in the churches, man? Because they all, they're all on there calling on Jesus, Jesus, Jesus the Christ and all of that, all right? And we understand, all right, which is common sense, Okay, that they, they, there was no such thing as Jesus, all right, back back in the time of Yahweh Shai. Okay, his his name, all right, being that he was a Hebrew, he had to have had a Hebrew name. You know, now you might say, oh well, you guys are you know uh, harping on this Hebrew stuff, and you don't even know how to speak fluent Hebrew. That's all right, so long as we know the the Father's name. The Scriptures tell you in the Apocrypha that things uttered in in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force. Okay, so if you want the full force and power, all right, in, in the name of the Lord, you got you to gotta refer to his name in Hebrew, man, because when you, for example, right, when you're reading an article or something, or you're talking about somebody, maybe you're talking about uh, uh, the, the North Korean uh, uh, president or, you know, leader, all right, you're going to say Kim Jong-un, right? Now, Kim, Kim Jong-un is not English, all right? That's, that's, that's you know, uh, Chinese, whatever language. Okay, but you're gonna refer to him with his 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 name, which is in his mother tongue. Okay, see, with everybody else is okay, you know, to call them by their name, their birth name is okay, but when it comes to the Lord, it's oh no, nah, it's fine. He's not gonna you know uh, 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 be upset or do anything about. But when you do it, it's okay. If somebody was to do that to you, you you'd be unhappy. You would correct somebody if they got your name wrong. Now, don't get it wrong. The Lord had many titles. Okay, but he also had a name. That's why he said, Whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do. So when all hell is breaking loose, guess what? You're going to have a lot of people calling on, on Jesus Christ. Okay, but that's not going to do anything for them. Okay, you're going to need to call on Yahweh Shai, but in spirit and in truth. That's why he said, uh, uh, um, not, not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall be saved. Roughly paraphrasing, because you got certain people that know the name. All right. And, and they might even call on the name, but they're not part of the elect. They're not sincere. So it's not, it doesn't, it's not going to work. Okay. That doesn't mean that the name is not important. All right. Because Judas, Judas knew Yahweh Shai's name, but look at how, look at how, how his fate ended up. All right. Um, I got another one and this is just a quick hitter. All right. If the spirit wills, I might come back do a more in-depth video. All right. This is John chapter 15, verse 15. Now this is what Yahweh Shai said. Henceforth I call you not servants, 
For the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my father, I have made, I have made known unto you. So please tell me what, what, what friend, you have a friend that you've been with for three years, but you don't know his name. Okay. It's like the first, the first, the first few things you do in the introductory phase is to, is to, is to give your name. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm Peter. Oh, what, what, what's your name? Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> call me, call me Jesus the Christ. When the letter J wasn't even invented at the time. There was no such thing as J. That's why when you read in the, the 1611 version of the King James Bible, you're not going to see the letter J. Okay? It, it'll, be, it'll be something that looks like a V, like a U and a V merged. Okay? Because there was no such thing. But, hey, there's a reason. Like, like hey, the, the other Apostle Gabar was saying that, look, there's a reason, all right, why why this man is, is basically uh, um, um, harping to, 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 you know, shift attention from the name to, to not push that name because you're seeing that is 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 the lord's name is being magnified okay it's being it's, 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 it's being put out there to the point where even cassidy all right was was saying the names yahweh and yahweh shai so the lord think about this right the heavenly father's name is going to be yahweh hebrew right but his son's name is going to be jesus does that even make sense no it doesn't okay yahweh shai is a nomen omen all right, meaning he deliverer. Yah meaning he. All right, Hawashai meaning deliver. Okay. And ultimately, when Yahawashai comes down, guess what? We gonna find out in that day. The scriptures say, in the book of Second Ezra, the sixteenth chapter, that uh, uh, um, then shall they be known who are my chosen. So don't worry about it. When the time comes, the heavenly Father is gonna know who stood for him. The heavenly Father is gonna know who was who is sincere, and who who was down for him, man. Okay, and those are the ones he's gonna protect. When you read in Isaiah 65 and 13, it talks about my servants shall eat and ye shall be hungry. Okay, we're gonna call on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So I mean, look, man, people can say whatever they want, okay, but the Lord has a remnant that no matter what, they will not be shook. No matter what, they will not be shifted, they will not, they will not waver, okay? And they're gonna use the true name. Of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, because yes, there is power in the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, to the point where even these people on the left hand side use the the, the um the, the tetragrammaton, okay? They use the characters of the Lord's name because they know that it has power in it. Okay. Jesus is, is hollow. It has it, like in the sense of it's empty. All right, it has no force in it, it's made up. Okay. The true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son is Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai. And, and for those out there who are not calling on those names or who are making fun of those names, that's the worst thing you could do, man. All right. Here, here it is. In this world, people get into fights over somebody making fun of their name. So what do you what do you think about making a mockery of the name of the the son? The second in command of everything in creation. The firstborn of, of, of every creature. See, you're gonna get Alexander, Alexander the, the Greek, you're gonna get his name right. Julius Caesar, you're gonna get his name right. Right, all these uh, Nebuchadnezzar, you're gonna get that right, but then when it comes to the second in command of everything in the heaven and the earth, his name is, 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 is whatever. Yahweh is gonna deal with a lot of you people when he comes down, man, and there's gonna be no mercy, rightfully so. But anyway, I'm, I'm gonna end it off here, all right. Like I said, just a quick hitter, low one, if the spirit permits, I might come back. Okay, but hey, man, just for those of us, all right, who 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 sincerely believe on the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, because when we look, look, man, personally, my life is a, is a testimony of the of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai being the true names. Okay, never never once have I prayed to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and been let down. Okay, not once. They deliver me every single time, man. And so I'll continue to call on those names, man. As Joshua said, as for me and my house, we're going we gonna, to we gonna, uh, worship Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? And I, and, I, and I would advise all brothers out there to do the same, which I know you are. Okay, but anyway, I hope this was edifying unto the elect. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakwadash. Until next time, Shalom.